Stampers. Welcome to another episode of Card Play. Today I'd like to show you how to make this adorable punched gumball machine. Super easy to make and so cute. So let's get started. You're going to need your one and a half inch circle punch and a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. We're just going to need one of those. You're also going to need a similar one and a half inch circle and what I want you to use is either window sheet or transparency or sometimes you can use packaging. To make this circle it's very difficult to punch through depending on how thick your acetate is. So you might want to use the Sizzix circle number two die in your Big Shot to cut through this kind of material. You're also going to need a whole bunch of confetti. Um, how I made this, these gumballs were made just using a standard hole punch that you get at the office supply store. Let's actually go ahead and make that part of the gumball machine. To do that we're just going to take a little bit of two-way glue and this can get a little sticky. I just like to put a bunch of two-way glue and you can see it since it's blue which is nice around the bottom and then we're just going to pick up these little gumballs and randomly place these and of course as your fingers get sticky it'll be even easier to pick up these little gumballs and place them. There we go and you can make your gumball machine as full or as empty as you what like. What I'd like to do now is place our acetate onto our gumball machine. To do that we're going to use some mini glue dots and what we're going to do with them is actually roll them with our finger to make kind of a little line and we're going to put one of those at the top of our gumball machine like that and we're going to do a second one and put it toward the bottom of our gumball machine just over some of these bottom gumballs. So we'll go ahead and place the acetate right over and press down particularly in those two spots. If you have some gumballs that have come over the edge, no worries. You can just take your scissors and quickly just snip those away without a problem. To make the top we're going to use some brushed silver cardstock and our one inch circle punch. Since I'm only making one of these I'm just going to do a half punch of the one inch circle punch. To make this stand out just a little bit we're going to use our basic black classic ink and we're just going to sponge the edges of this top of the gumball machine. Great. And that top of the gumball machine is actually going to get adhered to the acetate using our Tombow Mono multi-adhesive. So we'll take a little bit of that, just a little here at the top, and place that right on top. Now let's make the bottom of our machine. To do that we're going to use our round tab punch. You're also going to need a scrap piece of real red cardstock. There are two ways to go about doing this. If, again if you're just making one of them you can just put your card into this punch about halfway and punch and then what you could do is use your one inch circle punch. But you're going to bring this in part of the way and punch and that's going to create your um, bottom of your gumball machine. The other way to do it is if you've already punched one of these out it's great to be able to just come right back in here and now you see how it's already a curved edge for us which I love and so when we punch out this second one it's already done for us. We are going to sponge up the base of our gumball machine. And now we're going to adhere that to the gumball machine in the exact same way that we adhered the top. So just a little bit of Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive right on the edge It'll here. It'll take a few minutes for that to dry. To make the other pieces of the card, you're going to need a piece of rose red cardstock. This is two and three quarter inches by four inches. You're also going to need a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is two and a half inches by three inches and we're going to need a small piece of pretty in pink cardstock and this piece is one and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. So let's address this piece first. We're going to use our scallop border punch and we're just going to place this small piece right in there. You want to center it so that we make sure our scallops are even on the ends and go ahead and punch and then just slide that down following the little guide and punch again. What I'd like to do on this card is take our dot 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 stamp and some Daffodil Delight ink and let's go ahead and with this background stamp I like to ink it up 
this way. And I'm actually going to do the same thing with the paper. I'm going to bring the piece of cardstock right to the piece, uh, or right to the stamp, and we're just going to press that down with our fingers. So the next thing we're going to do is just adhere this piece of lovely, pretty in pink to our daffodil. To do that, we're just going to use a little bit of adhesive just like so. And for this card I actually want us to use a piece of old olive um, ribbon. I think the contrast will be nice. And to adhere this what I find easiest to do is to just take a little bit of snail and just snail up our piece of ribbon and let's put it down on the front first and then wrap it around the back. And I want to cut these tails. I'm going to use my craft and paper scissors. I love how this cuts ribbon like butter. And we're just going to go ahead and cut these edges just like so. So now what we want to do is make sure that we have our greeting stamped at the top. And to do that we're just going to dotto this down. And we're actually going to use this stamp, which has a whole bunch of different words on it. This is from the Sweet Season stamp set, and I thought this was adorable to just take this line, Enjoy the Sweets. So we're going to do that using our black marker, and we're just going to carefully only ink those particular letters. I've already gone ahead and stamped this on my transfer sheet for my stamp -a jig just so I could line it up up here at the top. So let's get our corner angle for the stamp -a jig Place that right there. And now since this has been sitting, I'm just going to give it a good huff. <sighs> and then we're going to go ahead and stamp and give it some nice pressure. Great. And we'll go ahead and adhere that right in the center. And now let's go back to our beautiful little gumball machine because we have one little last piece and that's to put this little door on here using a little silver brad. So to do that we're just going to take our little mat from our mat pack. We're also going to take our paper piercer and this tiny little piece of brushed silver cardstock and about where you think the door would be on a gumball machine. I'm going to go ahead and just press with your piercer and then push your brad right in there. So now we're ready to take our gumball machine and adhere it to our card. So we're going to do that with dimensionals. Let's take a number of dimensionals. And I'm actually going to put the dimensionals right on the white part. And we're going to adhere that right to this piece. And I like to do it a little bit tilted. And right about there is probably perfect. Excellent. So we are well on our way. Um, what we need to do now is our greeting. We're going to need a piece of Tempting Turquoise cardstock, and we're also going to need our Versamark stamp pad. And this greeting from Teeny Tiny Wishes. We'll go ahead and stamp that happy birthday right on there. And then we're going to use our white embossing powder to emboss. So let's get some white embossing powder on there. And we're going to go ahead and grab our heat tool and emboss. We're going to take our small oval punch and go ahead and punch out that little happy birthday greeting. There we go. And now we are ready to place it onto the card. I'm just going to use one dimensional to pop that right up. on our little card. And the last but not least thing that we need to do is adhere this to our card itself. And you can adhere this either using dimensionals um, or you can go ahead and just adhere it flat down. Um, for this one I'm just going to adhere it flat down again using my very large double sided adhesive and adhere it down. And for one final touch just to mirror all of these rounded edges I'd like to go ahead and just round one bottom corner. I think that looks great. And there you have it, a really fun punch bubblegum machine that makes an adorable little birthday card. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Card Play, and I hope to see you again soon, right here in the craft room.